we are with the on-screen display. And let's just go starting from the top left and do a quick counterclockwise look at what's going on on the screen. On top left, obviously, you've got your time code. I'm set in free run, which basically means that the time code continues to increment constantly, whether I'm in a take or not. And this is very useful if you're doing multiple cameras because you can generally set this to the time of the clock, such as, you know, the the actual time of day running on a regular clock. And using that, you can synchronize to a slate, synchronize other cameras. So generally speaking, this is what you want to go with if you're doing multiple cameras. It's also a lot easier when you get into post-production because you'll be able to tell exactly when each shot was taken based on this time code. Uh, going further, next thing over on the clockwise right, you can see a little pause indicator, which means I'm not running right now, not recording. Next little thing there, that little handy thing is the OIS, so I can turn that on and off, and that's the optical image stabilizer. Then you've got the scene file setting that I'm currently on. I'm currently in Cine D, but those can be renamed and called whatever you want, but that's controlled with the scene file dial on the back of the camera. Then you've got the P5.6 is the white balance. I'm currently set in the daylight preset white balance. And if I mess around that a little bit, as you can see that's the B preset, that's the A preset, and that's the system preset. And if I click on the front, there that was uh, tungsten balance, and now I'm in daylight balance. Um, the bottom, next thing down from that is the gain, how much gain there currently is in the shot. If I click that all the way up, I got 12 dB, I got 6 dB. I'm using the low, medium, and high settings on gain. Low right now is set to zero. Then the next little thing is the ND filter setting. Right now I'm at 1 16th. If I click this over, that would be 1 4th. ND off, ND 1 16, and ND 1 64. And you can see the big difference that makes because I've got my iris locked. Next thing down from that is the current uh, focus setting. You can see it's basically set to infinity now because there's some very far away stuff. And as I turn that, see it's set in meters. Things are going to go out of focus as I get closer and closer and closer. So I'm going to go ahead and focus back to infinity. And the MA means it's in manual assist, which means it goes much, it goes much faster if I flick really hard on it, and then it can go back into slow. 